ready to go, Chris? Yeah. Just these two brushes for you today? Yeah, um, that's all I need. Well, actually, yeah, I need two tips. I need a um, tiny 515 and a 517. Oh, we got both of those. Cool. Shooting a video reviewing a um, dyno sprayer, so we'll see how that goes. Right on. You want these on the account? Yep. Awesome. You're all good to go, my friend. Cool. Thank you very much. Have a great day. So we're out here testing out this little, um, it's a Dino Hardino a DP X6 airless sprayer. And I get questions all the time. People asking me, yo, can I just buy an inexpensive airless sprayer? Now I was just spraying this door and you'll notice that the sprayer itself has a very hard time keeping up with spraying, especially if you're holding the um, trigger down. When I first start pulling the trigger, uh, it sprays a nice pattern, then it rapidly loses pressure. It starts to get um, tailing edges. Now, if you're painting a door that's really smooth, it's brand new, it's critical that you don't get lines or tailing edges, that would become a problem. This, this is an older door, it's been painted multiple times. It ended up, I put it on heavy enough, it leveled out, um, but you gotta be really careful using a sprayer. You'll like that if you're looking for a very very fine finish um, and so it's just dropping pressure extremely fast the door I spray the door we get people asking what about the edges of the door because the door is closed we remove the weather strips and it exposes the two edges right here and then I run masking on the door jam inch and a half masking on the door jam and the edge of the door so it doesn't get over spray on it but the whole face of the door gets sprayed we don't um, typically on we do on the front doors we'll remove the hardware but on typically side doors doors like this this is a really old house the hardware is extremely old the customer's not replacing it if you pull the hardware off you might not get it back together properly because it might fall apart so we just mask the door off and then we pull the masking off while it's wet so i'm going to pull it off while it's wet so i don't get any bridging on the door from the tape to the door. So I use frog tape to keep any overspray off the door knob or any bleed through off the doorknob. So you wanna be very careful when pulling your masking off. Be just patient, slow, pull it off away from you and pull back. And that's how we spray the door. That's what it looked like using a DP airless. The gun itself, really small gun, um, not balanced very well, but you know, did it do the job? It sprayed the door, you know, if you know how to handle the sprayer. I sprayed some garage doors out front with it, um, tested it on that. It does not keep up you know, with the garage doors that I'm using a 517 tip. I tried using a 515 tip. It couldn't keep up with the pressure at all. So it started spitting really bad with a 515 tip. So um, just be cautious and aware with that. I had to stop continually, allow it to catch up. I'm testing out a sprayer right here, a Dyno. Um, it's a DP X6. It's not keeping up very well. So it's beginning to tail because the pressure is dropping. So that'd be one of the drawbacks to using one of these small sprayers. Ultimately, you know, could you paint a whole house with it? Um, possibly it's gonna take you a really long time. I think the thing will probably, um, you'll burn out by then. It's super, super dang light. I mean, I don't know if that even weighs um, two pounds right there. So I think if you dropped it out of the back of your truck or something, it'll probably break.